Maybe? It says horribly unstable. Yes, Dahlia? Yeah? Mm, no? There it is. Okay. Now it says excellent. Yeah, my uh, OBS crashed. OBS crashed. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys can hear me yet or not, so I'm still texting in chat. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, you know, it doesn't ever crash when it's just like me and one other person in stream. It's always, it always waits till there's like a raid or, you know, something important happening. Something I may actually want to pay attention to in life. You gotta love it. Nah. I don't know why I did that. It just decided uh, it was done for the day. To be fair, it was the time I usually am getting off. So I guess maybe it just knew uh, that it was time. Who knows? I wonder if maybe... I have no idea why it crashed. Like I'm trying to look over and see if there's like a crash report I can read or something. I don't know. And there's not. I guess it's just it doesn't love me today. Anyhow, um, what were you guys watching or streaming over in the uh, earlier stream that you guys were doing a vid and um, lazy moveful? We're in slideshow mode to let some stuff get done, hopefully, so that we can. Maybe get the lake full, get things opened up. Maybe dry season will actually come to an end. Why does this river keep flowing backwards? You guys are doing Timberborn too? Nice. How's their build going? I'm assuming pretty well. I want to do another build. I want to do a smaller build. I want to do Iron Heat at some point soon. Four or five streamers all doing the same map. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it is the new map, so I mean, everybody wants to do the new map, right? That's how it goes. Is it even really the same map at this point? I mean, once you kind of take it over and start blowing stuff out and reorganizing it and building your cities around and everything, does it really is it really the same map anymore? I 
I want to do one of the small maps. I kind of want to see what I can do with one. Nice. Doing a custom? There we go. She, pardon me, I think maybe I called... May have to. My goal is to get the map covered. I just wish I could go and fast forward more. Without it being a slideshow and being able to actually do things. But, uh, I've noticed that the more I get things connected and evened out, the better it seems to run. I think it's the water and the power grids. Evening the water flow out has helped quite a bit in this main area when I'm here, making it flow a little better. And then uh, connecting the power grids all up to one one central power grid, I think, helped out too. But it just seems to be helping. I don't know if it actually does. I mean, it's still it's still a slideshow. Yeah. Can you just hit it with the T key? So I have to go up here and hit the I thing? Nice. Good to know. Yeah, it's still got to calculate the water, though. I'm going to do the, the, the physical math of it. The physics math. Math physics? Physics math. All right, so I want to get up there and destroy all the trees. Yes, I want to destroy all the trees. All the trees. I'm going to uh, blow all this ground out. <laughs> also, need to destroy all this at a higher priority. Because I think I am going to build just a... I guess I can't destroy all that at a higher priority because I don't have a way down. goes down there and then we can destroy all that and then I think I'm gonna build a levee system over right to there for right now and then we will extend it out the way we want to later when we know if we have the range hey look at that that's impressive We have the range. Eh, it'll be close. They should be able to reach that last one, technically. Should. Because they can, like, do the overhang thing. You know? Been on TikTok recently? I mean, I uploaded my TikTok last night, but I haven't looked at my TikTok today. Why? I mean, I see you like my video. Uh, 
Uh, no. I haven't scrolled through my For You page today. Maybe I did this morning. When I got up. And I was laying in bed. No, maybe I did when I was laying with Dolly this morning. Now that I think about it, I think I did. Yeah, nah, because I was definitely did, because I was being an asshole to somebody. Because, you know, you can't scroll through TikTok without it being a hundred percent politics anymore. At least not here. At least not mine. One day my wife's gonna ban me from being on TikTok. It's gonna happen. I don't know, to be fair, she's told me I should make some political TikToks. There's these, like, horrible little flies I can't seem to get rid of. Like little fruit flies or something. Uh, nope. Should I? American kickboxer? Andrew Tate? 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 What's going on with him, though? You know, for some reason, when I see professional kickboxer, I think that, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't expect to see somebody born in the '80s. Am I ageist? Yeah, but like, there's a million podcasts and talk shows about how to get rich. And like, 90% of them are bullshit. Yeah, they're all different. they all say. What is he doing that's so different? Well, yeah, but like...
Like, are you implying that you think he's real, or like, are you just saying that like people are thinking he's real? Because like, if it was like, you know he's real. All right. Well, what's one of his big advice pieces? What's his like main thing? If you're gonna come in here with like, remember, don't rent, don't buy your own houses, rent them. You know, he smack you out. Always prioritize money in. 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 Yeah, but like you understand you're saying the same thing about like every other. Always prioritize money. Well, his part is money in his pocket. Thank you, Vid. Thank you. Um, like, you're saying the same thing that everybody says about every single, like, money talk person ever. Like, the same thing about every person that's ever come out that's like, Oh, uh, I'm a billionaire, and I'm going to tell you how to become rich. And here's how you become rich. Oh, uh, you should remember, don't, don't buy properties. You should rent properties, because uh, buying is how you become poor. And then you find out that, like, they're, they're, renters that's what they do that's how they became rich is they rented properties and then oh the reason they're telling you to rent properties is because they want you to rent their properties prioritize money yeah no shit that's a brilliant brilliant thing to say wow inspiring Is it going to be investing yourself next? Because just put that on a poster in your office. I want to look him up now. Hey, good morning. Do you remember that, remember that time in American history when white people were so af afraid of a particular item? Let's see. Listen, TikTok. Don't get me banned. Get out of here. Where do I search for somebody? Well, like, I'm in the middle of starting a company right now, so, um, I've done quite a bit of studying and research about starting a business. Hey, good morning. Why? You remember the time Stop starting videos. Not to mention, like, you know, I've been in, I've, I've been in management my entire life. I also just can't find where to search on the, like, internet version of TikTok. Get rich by buying my snake oil. What was his name again? Andrew Tate. Which, which one is he?
Because there's like a million Andrew Tates here. Is it is it Tate underscore Tudor? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he's not bullshitting. You buy his shit, you get, he gets rich. If he, if you buy his stuff, he'll become extremely wealthy. No, nah, but that's the thing, bud. Is like. This is, this is the same thing I've heard a million times from a million different people. I, I've heard the same thing from my brother about a different guy, and it's the exact same. He's not bullshitting you. It's real. It's definitely real. He's, he'll teach you how to get rich. And my brother followed this guy's course, and like, trust me, my brother didn't get rich. Is it, is it this one? Is it this profile? Yeah, but there's a million people out there that tell you how to start your company. This guy's a kickboxer. How does he know how to start a business? Is the guy? Yeah, this is just this is just American capitalist propaganda, my guy. From, coming from the American, this is American propaganda. This is this is classic American thing. This is this is. Don't forget, don't forget this. Is, no, this is this is, this is how this is how this is how every American boss speaks. This is how every single boss you have in America speaks. Don't forget, at least you have a job. At least you get to go to work today. At least it could be worse. I need you to do a million different things and work harder, because uh, at least you have a job. his concept there just don't do anything to not make the rich richer I mean like like the goal is not to make the rich like Come on, so you're gonna go out? my head hurts now 
again, you're, you're, you're talking about a guy who got rich by becoming a kickboxer, not a guy who started a business. So, so you're talking about learning to start a business from a guy who never started a business. He started kickboxing and then started a business with a fortune behind him from, from kickboxing? No, he wants you to buy his school, his education. Yeah, he wants you to pay him so he can teach you. So he's trying to get you to buy a product. The product is his education. But again, he's trying to get you to pay him for him to teach you how to do something that he's never done. I have done starting a business more than he has. He's not started a business from nothing. He started a business from being rich. Everything he said is the exact same thing that every American there is in the world is saying right now. Like, yeah, the rich get richer. You buy a house in an area and it raises the property value? That's not even how that works. That's not how property value functions. You would have to do things with that property to actually increase the property value. Like, yes, if you buy a property at an extremely overinflated price that it's not worth, yeah, you're increasing the property value, then then maybe. But that's not how property value works. You'd have to do something to increase the value of that property. Like, does he just think that, like, inherently buying a house makes the house more valuable? Like, over time, yes. Buying a house doesn't just inherently make rich people more rich, unless you're buying the house directly from the rich people at an inflated price. So again, don't buy a house. Or you're gonna make the rich richer. This a family. You found it? It's uh it's time to give her more medicine. Then property value goes out. Up, yeah. Hey, I need to go up. You need me to get up? Mm. Give me just a second, little lovey. Oh, I'm sure that he has like five people who will tell you that because they listen to him, they've gotten richer. I'm sure that if you go to his website, there's people that'll, that, that claim it. I'm, I guarantee you that, but that's the thing, is is you're, you're talking about people that are already driven to make money, okay? You've got people who have already decided they're going to start a business. You want to know how you start a business and make money starting a business? Start the business. There's thousands, there's not thousands. Exactly, Vid. Exactly, Vid. Exactly. There's not thousands. There's not, there's not thousands of people who have bought his thing and became rich. Yeah, 40,000 on TikTok's not a lot. for your cold. Uh, yeah, you can see my necklace. Uh, this. Uh, it's yummy.
is yummy. Mm. Is yummy, huh? Good job. Um. It's a pickaxe? See? Yeah. The diamond pickaxe? Yes, Look, I'm not saying he's probably not giving some good advice because, like, they all have some good advice in it, but. At the end of the day, the, the trick to starting a business and going. And doing it is probably just doing it. And that's probably why people are getting rich from it. The few that are probably actually doing it, we're already going to be doing it. Come on, Dolly. You think you're juicy? Hang out with mommy for a minute? And then daddy will be over there in just a moment? You can. You can. <laughs> yeah, wait a few years for Callie to fall in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Alright, then that's fair. Nah, it, it is though, man. Like, you, you, I mean. No offense, Matt. He's your leader? I feel like this is a cult now. I feel like what you're saying now is that this is a cult and I should be concerned. It, I mean, with Matt, yeah. Yeah, uh, Bub, listen, I'm, I'm, I know you get stuck on like, like I know you, and I know you get stuck on like influencers and stuff like that, and like this is a thing for you, so I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be patient and like be sensitive and and, and not not be an asshole about it. Um, this is a common thing, and it's a type of scamming. It is. Again, this is this is a thing I do. Spotting scams. This is a it's a thing. Um, but he's this is they get you in, then they study some books, they more or less rewrite the things that are already in books that you could find. You pay them for them to tell you what's basically in these books that they've read. Um, and you're basically paying them a fortune for what you could get and find online for free you're you're effectively paying for nothing again you're 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 talking about a guy who's not done the thing that he's claiming to do the tiktok that he's on there he's just rinsing and repeating things that i've heard every single american basically say here lately about government's politics and the economy and he kind of says some very basic economical things, very generalistic ideas. Yeah. That's fair. I'm just saying that this is a very common type of scam. It's the same thing as like, uh, you know, I'm going to say it. The Trump school, if you haven't heard of it, it's the same thing. I mean, uh, is he asking you for money for something that you could find online for free? Well, yes, then scam, isn't it? He's 
asking you to pay him for information that he doesn't have besides just having Googled it. You're you're effectively paying him to Google things for you. If you want to know how to start a business and make money, don't pay somebody to spoon feed information for you. Learn how to look it up yourself. There. Uh, I expect you to start paying me now. I'm your business advisor now. Cool. You owe me $40. I'm your business advisor now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, it's just... It's just... Listen, like, if you're gonna pay a kickboxer for it, it's just there's a lot- there's a lot of better people with actual life experience than him. And at the end of the day, starting your own business just means finding a niche, filling the niche, selling your product. It's like I'm starting to sell wax melts right now and several other things and doing computer repair and it's just about finding the niche, filling the niche and selling your product. Maybe. I mean, it all depends on the market value of your product. I mean, if you have a product where you only make a penny per sell, you're still not going to get rich if you sell enough of it. There's a lot of finite details that go into a business. And if your overhead's too high, you're still not going to make... It's not Sales isn't it. There's a lot that goes into it. You could sell a millions, billions, trillions of your product, and if your overhead's still too high, you're still not going to make a profit line. Like, you're still not going to make a margin. If I'm doing computer repair and I repair a million people's phones, but I end up charging less than I spend in parts, I'm not going to make money. But this guy is ultimately charging you $40 and he is spending $0 on what he's providing you. But, as much as I want to stay, I do need to get off here. I am going to let this idle some, let them get done with what they got. <laughs> he spent two million on like a Lambo last week, because he's a kickboxer! That's his thing, he was a kickboxer! He made a bunch of money doing kickboxing, he invested that money, and he made a million dollars. And now he's tricking you into thinking that he didn't make his money in kickboxing. was a kickboxer. He made his money doing kickboxing and then he invested his kickboxing money. In fact, I almost guarantee you he didn't invest his money in kickboxing or his money from kickboxing. He had somebody invest his money from kickboxing. He had an investor invest his money. He probably didn't even start his business. He probably had an investor start his business. His business is probably not his business. It's probably his investor's business that runs his business for him. Because that's how you do it when you are rich. When you've made a million dollars from kickboxing. Yeah, but you see the point of like, it's different for a rich person to say, I don't know how to start a business when I already have a million dollars sitting in a bank account so I can start a business with my million dollars versus... I have $50 to my name 
and I have to take out a business loan to start a business, or I have to start my business so small that it's minuscule and laughable versus a guy who's going to say, I have a million dollars to start a business. He doesn't know how to start a business from nothing. He knows how to invest money when he already has a million dollars. Like, that's a whole different ball game. That's like a professional athlete trying to give you advice on how to be poor. That's a different, it's a whole different thing. You don't even need your grand minimum. You need nothing to start a business. You don't need anything. Depending on what your business is, you don't need anything. Obviously some businesses need more, some businesses need less, but you don't technically need anything. I mean, for computer repair, I'm taking the tools I already had, which I think I spent $60 on, and that's about everything I needed. I mean, I already had most of the software I'd already needed, but I got that from school and everything. My schooling was free because the state of Indiana paid it for that. Um, and then my software I'd gotten, I already had it. I paid, in total, I think I got a hundred and some dollars invested in tools, really. I think I'll need to pick up a soldering gun at some point. I know I'll need to pick up a soldering gun at some point. I mean, a couple hundred bucks, and then at some point, I'll get a, all my other ducks in a row for that, so... For starting out... My investment's gonna be nothing since I already had most of my stuff, but if you want to consider what I've invested in myself already for having had a job and having gone to school, I think I've started off with like $300 to $400. And then when I get my business license and everything, uh, which you don't have to do when you first start out, you can do that after you've made the profit to do it, uh, then yeah, maybe 2000 But you don't need that to start, you can do that post. And with the wax melt stuff, I've you can again do all the legality stuff post. Uh, I think we spent like four hundred dollars in the wax and everything, and since to get the the like stuff down, and that's all we've got invested in that so far. And that's all we're gonna need to get it started. That's what I'm saying. You're, you're talking about a guy, the guy you're looking at is a good guy to look at if you were starting off a massive business and you're going to take out a huge bank loan to start this huge business. Sure, maybe. Maybe he knows a little bit of what he's talking about. Maybe. He probably doesn't. His investor might. And he's probably talking to his investor to make a class to talk you into buying it. To have you pay him money for a class because he was a kickboxer who don't really know shit. But how to be rich. I don't know, man. You do you. If you if you if you trust him and you believe in him, you do you. At the at the end of the day, it's gonna encourage you to do something that you wouldn't do if you didn't have the encouragement, and that's the best thing about it, and that's a good thing. That is inherently a good thing. Don't discourage yourself if you don't believe in it. I'm not saying you shouldn't do things. If you want to start a business, start a business. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if you if you think that, like, what he's telling you is a good thing and you want to start a business, start a business. What I'm saying is, don't take him as a prophet, follow everything he says, and then think that, like, you're a failure if things don't go right because of what he said. Or try to get yourself in massive amounts of debt because of what he said. 
because I literally know people who've gotten themselves in massive amounts of debt because some millionaire told them to. Or are people who rent apartments now because they listened to some housing specialist who told them that buying a house isn't worth it anymore and they should rent. And now they're renting houses and they can't afford them anymore and they're getting evicted because they can't afford rents anymore. You know. All I'm saying is listening to those kind of things can be dangerous. Take it with a grain of salt. Don't follow it like uh, some people follow the Bible. Anyhow, I'm hopping off for the day. Go spend time with the wife and the kid. So much love, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.